All right, YouTube Hummingbird fans, I'm going to show you a way to clean out your Hummingbird feeders. You know, your glass feeders get, get a little mold in there sometimes uh, if you don't change the fluid often enough. And you should change it quite frequently so that won't happen. But you can get a little mold in there. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of, uh, looks like kind of condensed sugar can get in there. And especially near the bottom of the feeder in this area. If you look carefully, you'll see sometimes some mold is in there. And I got to thinking how to get in there and clean that. You can get those little brushes that you use to clean out straws, soda straws, and kind of bend it and try to work it around in there. <clears throat> but it's not easy to get a perfect bend on that little brush thing. Here's one here. You know, I tried to bend it to work it around in there. But I got to thinking about how you clean out a wine decanter. They sell these beads that you put in a wine decanter. They're like ball bearings or BBs or something. And you swirl it around in there to clean your decanter out because you can't get in the bottom of a wine decanter with any kind of brush. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go off of that idea. I got some bead chain. This cheap bead chain and put a little whatever cleaning agent you want to put in there. What works really good is to put a little bit of water and a little bit of vinegar. That vinegar is very anti-mold. Uh, but I'm not going to use vinegar for this video. I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of soap. But I'll put a little soap in there and a little bit of hot water. And then I'm going to take these two bead chains and drop them in there if I can do it. Might be out of frame here. But anyway, I'm going to drop that bead chain in there and then cover that top with my hand and just shake the hell out of it and kind of swirl those beads around near this area because this is where all the crud seems to congregate is down in this part. So I shake that up and I swirl those beads around down in this bottom segment. Swirl them really good. Get some good mechanical agitation there. And that'll clean all that crap out from in there. Any mold, any little condensed out sugar, you'll get it all out if you just really get after it with these beads. And uh, normally I don't use soap because it takes a while to get all that foam out of there. I usually use vinegar. But I'm going to use this soap for this demonstration. And ultimately, I'm not going to waste time on the video getting all that soap out, but once you rinse all that soap out and you look at your jar, it is going to be crystal clear. There's not going to be any gunk in there, no mold, nothing. It'll be absolutely just looking like crystal. So, you know, it's important to keep your feeders clean. You want your birds to be safe. And um, you put some bead chain in there. You're going to get some good mechanical agitation. You're going to get the entire inside of that feeder just absolutely clean. And I do this fairly often. I like to keep my hummingbird feeders absolutely pristine. And as I said, I would typically do that with vinegar. The bases, I just put those in the dishwasher and they come out absolutely perfect as well. So there's different ways to clean your feeders, but I put these in the dishwasher. I hit the, you can't probably see how clean that is, but that is crystal clear in there. So use some bead chain. I guess you could get some of those beads they use for a wine decanter, but this is really cheap. This is way cheaper than those beads they sell. And you get your cleaner, uh, get your feeders really clean that way. I don't fill it all the way up with the sugar water either because it takes so long for the birds to drink all that that by the time they finally empty the thing out, you know, mold could be growing in there already, especially in the hot, hot heat here in Texas. So I only fill my feeders up about 
a third or a half or maybe two thirds of the way so that I can clean them more often. Try that little trick.